Hello! My name is Dabu, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I am playing Point Nine O. Uh, I believe it's still a beta. They haven't released it yet. Um, I haven't played this game in a long time, so I thought I'd come back to it and play around with it a little bit here before it goes into its final out, uh, release to the public. Um, I also haven't played with any mods before, so I decided to... Um, Go out and grab some of the popular mods, some things to add a bit more realism and difficulty to the game, and then uh, see what I can do. Along with, I believe now they've got all the new career mode changes, so I'm kind of curious to see what all's in the game now, and to see what all these things are. So, I'll I'll put the full list of mods in my description, but I mean, just a few, I mean, for realism effects, I got Ferrum's Aerospace Research, so it makes... Uh, the atmosphere work like real atmosphere, I guess. Uh, deadly reentry, so you have you know heat matters. Uh, let's see, tack life support, so Kerbals can't just float around in space forever and ever and ever. They'll have to have food, water, air, etc., etc. Um, added real shoots. That seems to be a popular one. Everybody's like, it works really great. I don't know. Remote tech. I want to play around with that. I find that interesting because I always thought with this whole space and science program that communication is definitely a huge challenge to the space program in real life. So. Why not in our Kerbal Simulator? Uh, let's see what else. I added a... I tried... Now, since I'm doing this... I think I'm going to do the science career. I, I only added a couple science-y things. Just I wanted to see what the real science stuff is. What, or what the Kerbal space science stuff is. But I added... It was a popular... Two popular ones kept coming up. One called Station Science and one called... Uh, D-Magic Orbital Science. So I added both of those in, just to play around with. Uh, I've got the Kerbal Attachment System, which was one of the things I always thought would be kind of interesting, would be uh, being able to do some uh, attachment modifications to things after your ship's already launched and in space and so on. Uh, Kerbal Joint Reinforcement, because I think everybody said that keeps your ships from falling apart because of bad physics, or something like that. If I'm totally wrong, then please leave a comment and let me know. But otherwise, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know if I throw anything else in there. Or if I should throw anything else in there. Oh, Active Texture Manager. So everybody says that if you're playing Kerbals and doing all this other stuff, this Active Texture Manager supposedly makes all the graphics and art smaller and easier to manage and cuts down on memory overhead and all this other fun stuff. So anyway, all that technical jizz-jazz that I don't understand. So let's go firing Kerbals into space. So start game. Start new. All right, here we go. Okay, so we got Sandbox. Typical. Now we got science career, and we've got career career, which is managing money. Something I can't do well in real life, so probably can't do it in a game. I will be doing science mode to gather science. So I'm going to go with the assumption that Kerbal Society is all about, you know, wanting to reach the stars. So money is no op, op, no problem for them. They can, they can do whatever they want. So we're going to make a new game here. We'll just call it Just for Science. It looks good, and we need a decent flag. Ooh, lots of flags. NASA. Um, which one I always used to use. Oh, lots of interesting flags. Hm, very nice. Kerbal Motion. Yay. Um, ah, here's the one I use. Right here. I like the color orange, and it looks like a little Kerbal Astronauts, so good enough for me. That's the Kerbal Space Program. So, uh, difficulty options. Oh, let's see what we got here. Ah, so to make this a little bit more challenging, I'm okay. Not going to allow myself to revert flight. So once I put myself on the launch pad, it's we're either into the stars or recovering in a, a, a spaceship. Uh, no quick loading, no quick saving. Everything I do is going to be done once and done right or done wrong. Doesn't matter. Missing crew. No, because we're. I, oh, there was another thing I added on. Something called Final Frontier. Supposedly my Kerbals can earn awards and badges for doing stuff. And part of that I was going to play with was so Kerbals will, if they die, they die. And we'll have uh, glorious stories to tell about them. Auto hire crew members before flights. I guess I need that. Indestructible? No, I want facilities to blow up if I break them. So, uh, I don't know. That's custom. So, accept. And let's get started. So, <clears throat> um, I think the only other... Oh, I added Kerbal Alarm Clock. And, well, there's, what do we got here? Welcome to the Space Center, yada, yada, yada. I'm Gene Kerman. Yes, yes, yes. This is a Space Center from here. Oh, I already know all these things. Right-click over the Space Center facilities to view more about them. Left-click when you're ready to head inside. Oh, that's kind of cool. Right-click to tell more about them. Thanks, I got it. Good. Uh, Kerbal Alarm Clock, because supposedly as I get going in this, and I'm doing multiple missions to trying to kind of... Do balance a few things. I'll probably need to set some alarms to remind myself not to forget to do things. 
Uh, let's see, I do want the tack life support enabled. Resource consumption rates, I'll just leave those alone. Maximum time without resources, I'll just leave that alone. Default resource amounts, I'll just leave that alone. Okay, good. I guess all defaults is good. Um, so this added some new buttons and changes. That's kind of cool. Real shoots. Oh, okay. Automatically arm when deploying. Uh, activate April 4th. <laughs> Part GUI resize updates. Can, no, I don't need any of this stuff. We'll just leave it default. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's the Final Frontier Hall of Fame. So I got Jebediah, Bob, and Bill, and I guess as they go on missions, they'll earn awards and hopefully not be dead. Dead would be bad. Um, far. Ah, uh, this is Ferrum's Aerospace, I guess. I'm just gonna leave everything default because honestly, I don't, I don't know anything. I don't know anything about any of this stuff to know if I should be changing any of it. Normal damp heat shield. Okay, that must be deadly reentry. Yeah, deadly reentry. So it's at the top right there. Okay, so I'll just leave all the mods default for now. Um, this must be the tack life. Okay, that's good enough. And science, I have zero points. So um, this is still the science center. Yeah, research and development science center. Go inside. There we go. All right. So I did see this when they were first demoing it. That's it. That's all the science I got. Start research. Oh, researched. Okay, so this is what I got. Parts, heat shields, computers, computers, parachute? Real sh oh, real shoot. Okay. Uh, command pod, engines, solved fuel. Oh, this is a little short solid fuel booster. Fuel tank. Uh, looks like we got a girder for support and communitron. Okay, so this must be part of what they were talking about with the tech. So the antennas now matter for transmitting data and for automated control so and we got another parachute okay and I guess we can do more science we get uh, decouplers more fuel tanks oh, not enough science oh so we got I guess we gotta go do science what do we do to do science I don't have any science stuff I mean, that's what this is for. Kerbal engineering system boosts impressive 128 bits of solid state storage and enough processing power to run at least three digital watches. It's better than my first computer. Goes back to roots Kerbal engineering. This unit has been proven to be at least one times ten to five. Times. Okay, so I'll stop mumbling now to myself and actually tell you what I'm thinking here. I don't know what this stuff does, but we'll figure it out. Uh, technology archives. Okay, so this looks pretty similar to what I saw before. Let's get out of here. Mission control. Yeah, oh, the tracking station. Okay, launch pad. Yep, launch pad. This must be the rocket building. Yep, vehicle assembly building. What are the, that's the airspace. Yep, spare, that's the space plane hangar. Not too sure if I'm going to do much with space planes. I pretty much like rockets myself. Never been, I mean, I like planes. I've just never been much into them for Kerbal. Mission control facility. All available contracts can be managed. Okay, so I'm not playing with the money mode, so I don't know if this is... Yeah, this facility goes. There's no, there's no uh, contracts. So what do we got here? Oh, this is the astronaut complex. Here we go. Ah, here we go. Perfect. So we've got Jebediah, Bill, and Bob, the trio of uh, astronauts that always starts the game. It looks like we got a bunch of volunteers, applicants. Interesting. Oh, they have classes now. Scientist, engineer, engineer. Oh, pilot, engineer, science. Okay, so ah. Jebediah is a pilot, imagine that. Uh, good, well we'll start with our basic three and hopefully we'll add more as we need them. I don't think I need them right now. So this is good. Or maybe I'll rotate through so people can earn different badges. I don't know. Um, Alright, so let's go build our first rocket out of whatever pieces and parts they gave us. Welcome to the Vehicle Assembly Building. Hello, I'm Werner von Kerman, Chief Rocket Engineer. Yes, yes, yes. Vehicle Assembly Building. I go left, you'll find... Yeah, I already... Components. Well, that's a bit different on the side instead of on the drop down. Anyhow, if you need more in depth explanation on how to build, you have a look at the training sections of the main. Okay, perfect. Got it. Perfect. So, um, this looks pretty much similar to what it was before. Oh, buttons down here now. Information about your craft. Life support build aid. Oh, 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 I see. So, since I guess I have TAC life in here, I need to know how much food, water, and oxygen and electricity my people have so they don't die in space okay good enough and I got no vehicles to load because I haven't built anything yet alright so I guess we start with the command pod simple enough and we're gonna wanna go up and come down and not die um, 
So let's do something simple to go up and come down. What do we got? Fuel tanks? Fuel tanks. Here we go. And, oh, you know what? Parachutes. What do we got here? We got real shoot cone. Right mouse button for more information. All right, here we go. Heat shield. Active heat. Has an active heat shield on it. Good. I guess it won't burn up. Uh, procedural shoot. The real shoot can be tweaked from the action group's window. Oh, that's nice. Uh, deployment altitude. 3,000 meters. That's a bit low. No, that's a bit high if that's when the chute pulls it. Pulls at 7,300. I guess that's a lot. It'll take a long time to come down. Holy cow. I usually do mine like around 500 or something, I think, in the game. Uh, hmm, I don't know. What do we got here? Whoops. Ah, uh, the Mark 16. Deployment altitude 700 meters. That's a bit more realistic. And minimum deployment pressure at 0 0.01 atmospheres. Ah. Uh, no, I don't think so. We'll probably set that one to some distance, maybe also, or something. So let's stick a... Oh, that's awfully big. That's not going to count. There we go. We'll just stick that on there. All right, so we got fuel. We got a rocket pod. We're going to need an engine. Engines? Engines? Not a rocket booster. We're going to have to stick an engine on here. There we go. Hey, look at that little rocket. And... Oh, this is nice. Kerbal Engineer. Oh, Kerbal Engineer. That was one of the other mods I put in here. Uh, so stage zero, which I guess is what this is. We'll fire my... Oh, that's not going to work. I can't fire my rocket and parachute at the same time. There we go. Two staging. Zero and one. So stage zero is all this stuff. Uh, weighs that much. 3,500 kilograms. And I got about 1,200 delta V. And I'm about 6.2... TWR. Hmm. Oh, that's thrust to weight ratio. 6.2. Wow, that's high. Um, do I have a bigger engine? Uh, I should put more fuel. Yeah, because more fuel won't add more mass, which won't be more weight. Which, hey, that brings that down 4.70. There we go. I can push a lot more. This engine's very powerful. Oh, you know what, though? I have no way of separating this out, so my parachute's going to have to handle bringing all this stuff back. You know what? Let's just do a rinky-dink. Let's just... We'll go up. We'll come down. We'll do some... Oh, we'll do some science. Right, here we go. All right, what's that do? No more information. Um, mass... Kerbal engineering system posts... I, I don't know what this does. Part of the engineering system. Well, let's balance out the ship. We'll stick one on one side and one on the other. There we go. I guess that'll record my launch and possible fiery death. And we need an antenna so we can communicate back home and tell everybody what a wonderful trip we made. And I should probably not stick that off to the side like that because it will probably inevitably fall off. So let's just rotate it around a little bit and we'll place it right about right there on the line. There we go. Okay, uh, ship built. Let's see, uh, action groups. I always like to tie landing gear into antennas. Yeah, because I don't have any actual landing gear. Perfect. And, or maybe lights. Nah, it doesn't matter. And crew. Looks like we got, oh, good old Jebediah for the initial flight. Perfect. So this is good. So what I'll do is I'll give it this thing a name. Just call this first rocket because I'm about that creative when it comes to things like this. And we'll save it. And I don't know why I'd save it because I can't recall. And we got stages set up. Yes. We got rocket ready to go. Yes. Jebby's on board. We're going to launch. Now I have, <clears throat> like I said, I've challenged myself with the difficulties of no take backs, no undoozies, no, uh, no Kerbals, you know, no unzombifying if they get dead. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, this is all pretty much still the same. Flight Engineer Hub, yes. One rocket pre-launch. Do we have food and water? Well, yeah, resources. Here we go. Yep, food, water. Like days worth of food? Less than a day's worth of water? Oxygen, 111, I guess. 111 days worth. That's a bit misproportioned, I guess, maybe? I don't know. And we can bring back our carbon dioxide waste. Oh, so we're green. We won't be leaving shit up in space. Perfect. 
Uh, liquid fuel oxidizer, electric charge. Oh, I'll just go mono repellent. They stuck that in those pods without having to have no RCS system. All right, great. So we'll just simply run our thrust all the way up to max because we're launching a rocket. We'll turn on our SAS control so we go straight up. Sure, why not? And away we go. Not too bad. Looks like it goes straight up. Fuel burning down. Yes, yes, great. Oh. You know what? I should probably be doing science. Science! Oh! Wow! Well, Jebby, that was not according to plan. Let's get a crew report anyway. While we're hanging out up here, let's turn our SAS off and turn ourselves right side up. Yeah, there we go, Jebby. So we can actually come down. Okay, so besides my rocket ship completely blowing itself apart, knocking all my gear off the side. I at least didn't knock my parachute off, but it took everything else off my ship. So flight computer, 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 radio antenna, all gone. All gone, Jebby. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. All I did was say we should do science and the whole... Oh, you know what? We should probably fire your parachute. There we go. Yes, what a way to end a crappy launch other than to ram our capsule straight into the ground. Because I forgot to deploy the parachute. Well, at least I don't have to worry about... Oh, there must be pieces of, your, pieces of your ship flying off out there still. Nice. Oh, well, Jebby. Congratulations. You're up. And now you're coming back down. That explosion was probably your engine or fuel tank. That's probably your computer right there. We need to... Damn. That was your flight computer. That thing was packed with dynamite. Probably wasn't safe to have strapped to the side of your capsule anyway. So, 300 meters. Let's accelerate time a little bit until we get to the ground. Yeah. I can already tell this is not going to be... We'll slow down so we don't slam to the ground. This is not going to be as uh, easy as I thought. Imagine that. A little bunch of mods make the game hard. And hard it is. Alright, so can we do a crew report on the ground? Uh, I guess we have to overwrite the existing one in the air, so we'll keep that one. Let's get out and walk around. I always like to get out and walk around. Congratulations, Jebby. You survived your first space flight. You can let go now. There we go. Walk around. Yay! Hey, you know what? I'm here. EVA report. Oh, keep that. And hey, take a service sample. Science! We got the science! Yeah! Alright, get back on board. So we can go home. And get back on. Alright, good deal. You know, I should probably plant a. F nah, I'm not gonna plant a flag. It's around their home base. At the rate I'm going, I'll have 40 flags planted out here in the field next to the base. Okay! There we go. Recover vessel. Aha! This ain't too bad. Oh, actually, I didn't go more than like a couple thousand feet in the air. Oh, look at that. Jebby got, oh, awards. What did he get? Operational Service Ribbon. Awarded for completing at least a single mission. As <laughs> this is the congratulations you survived, Ribbon. <laughs> uh, first Kerbin Surface EVA. First landing on Kerbin. Oh, congratulations, Jebby. You're the first Kerbal to land on Kerbin. Boy, we started. <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh, G46 ribbon. Oh, we hit six Gs. That's nice. We probably should reel that back in a little bit so as we don't crush your skull into the back of your spacesuit. Let's see. Sciences. Here we go. 19 point. Oh, good. We got some science done. 19. That's a good start for not having any clue what I'm doing. All right. Good deal. Let's see what else we can do. Let's see. Science. It's a science building. All right. So now we can unlock more parts. Five science. Five science it is. 14.9. I imagine that. 15. Are you kidding me? 18? 20. We're literally 0.1 science point away from unlocking another survivability. That'd probably be good so we can survive. Oh, radial shoots. That'd be nice. Okay. Well, <clears throat> let's see, Jebby. Let's, um,. Let's go back, and I'm thinking we should redesign that rocket, because, yeah, so let's do this. Uh, let's uh, keep the top part, throw that away, 
uh, a flight computer that was kind of vulnerable to stuff getting ripped off, but let's, um, heat shield? Do we have a heat shield? Does that have a heat shield? Ablative, what do heat shields have? Ablative shielding. Okay, so we already have a heat shield on the bottom of this, so let's, um, Man, I don't like the fact that our stuff gets torn off when we fly. Let's do this. Let's, um... Let's do that. Oh, that's a small one. That's a bigger one. There we go. Add another heat shield. Ah, there we go. So now we can move our stuff down here, where it'll be safe not get ripped off while we're flying, or knocked off. Hello antenna. Let's um you know let's double up antennas because you can never have enough antennas. And it's probably pretty good. Two antennas for the price of one. And do I still need them set up on the gear? Nope, it'll toggle them. Okay. And let's see. Nothing else? Do we got any new science? Goo canister. Excellent. Stick him underneath here. There we go. Perfect. Line him up. There we go. Now we're looking more like a rocket ship. Uh, Oh, I don't need two of those. There we go. And we still got room for other things. All right. Perfect. Uh, nothing new here. Utility. We still have a parachute. Parachute on top. That's fine. This shouldn't be too heavy. I think I can handle it. What is it? It's only, yeah, it's only 2,000 kilograms. A parachute should be able to handle that. Uh, science is done, utility is done. Do we have any aerospace? No. Structure? Ah, decouplers. Stack decoupler. No crossfeed. I'm not going to crossfeed anything anyway. No crossfeed. With the new heat shield for. Oh, hey, this is a pod decoupler. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Alright, so now all we need is uh, fuel and engines. And since we can decouple now. We can bring our thrust, thrust to weight ratio down a little bit so uh, we're not going too fast because I think that's why everything got ripped off. This ferrum thing with the atmosphere, I think we were going too fast and we ripped all our stuff apart. You know what? What do we got for engines? Still need this big monster one. What do we got? Thrust to weight ratio of 2.8. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and throw one more fuel tank on there. Why not? It's just more fuel means more height, more cool stuff. There we go. 2.18. There we go. All right, maybe now we won't go up as fast. We won't rip all our stuff apart, and we'll be able to actually use our stuff. Okay. Don't have anything else useful that I can use? No. Good. Perfect. Let's call this our, because I'm just so creative with names. This will be our second rocket. Second rocket. And let's save that bad boy and launch. Oh, you know what? I should have checked. I guess Jebby's still on board. Good old Jebediah. We'll find out when it loads up here who's in the corner. I don't think it rotates. I think it always just goes with Jebediah until he's dead. Yeah, Jebediah Kerman. All right, Jebediah. Let's uh, see if you can take this one. You know what? I'm, in fact, I'm not going to throttle all the way up. I'm going to go like about two-thirds speed. There we go. Um... So I don't rip, because I'm guessing that was why I got ripped apart, was I got ripped apart by, turn my SAS, I got ripped apart by my, oh, you know what, by the atmosphere. Should be able to do some science here on the on the bay. Let's open up our antennas, and let's take a crew report. Yeah, transmit that back home. Perfect. And before we run out of electricity, since we don't have that much, we'll turn our antennas back off. There we go. Perfect. I wonder if we can do uh, goo. I think we have to bring goo back. I don't think we can transmit goo by radio. Alright, Jeb, so we are ready to launch... Oh, I didn't even check my staging. I don't even know what I'm doing. 
that blows away. I don't. Oh, I don't want to blow my heat shield away. Hold on a second here. Uh, put parachute, parachute here. Wow, should have thought of this before. This could have been a tragedy happening, Jebediah. We're gonna fire our rocket. We're gonna blow that away. Then we're gonna launch our chute, and then I don't see any reason to drop the heat shield, but I guess that's an option. So, um, talk info. Here we go. I saw this before in the when I was loading up the mod. It said you can modify. Okay, first of all, if we're gonna do this by altitude. I always deploy my chutes around 5,000 feet, so 5,000? This is not very, oh, they're 49, 74. And I usually pre-deploy them at 5,000, and I deploy the actual chute fully around 500, 500, 520 is going to be close enough. All right, good. All right, and I guess we can, we can arm the chute for auto-deployment. I don't want to deploy it. I don't want to arm it. I don't want it to go off yet. We'll see what happens. All right, Jebediah, let's go up in space. Let's see if we can make it up this time. There we go. A little bit slower launch. We got plenty of fuel, though. Plenty of fuel. Might even be able to maybe get up into orbit? I didn't check where my Delta V was before we left. But, I mean, sitting on 500 gallons of liquid fuel, we should be able to just build up some speed here. Full speed. Alright, let's angle out a little bit. Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, that was not a good idea. Uh, hmm. Rocket wants to point down, not up. That's not good. That's not good! Jebediah, this might be a failed experiment. We might have to get you out. Alright, let's do some science while we're spinning around in circles at 6,000 meters off the ground. Alright, note to self. Set experiments up on groups. Alright, keep that. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing turned back. Oh, and it's head! Alright, we're going to kill the engine. And we're just gonna bail out here. And I'm gonna open up my other containment unit. And we should probably deploy our chute. There we go. Before we die, take another crew report. Before we die. Oh, that's not even worth anything, Jubby. I don't have any other science to do, do I? No? No, you're gonna bother. Okay, so Ferrum's uh, aerospace makes flying anything other than up in a straight line. Rather difficult. I lost complete control as soon as I just tried to pitch over a little bit. And I'm not talking a hard pitch either. I tried just to pitch over a little bit and I got totally flips around in circles. Well, at least we didn't die, explode, or anything else bad. Let's see what we got here. Jebediah, can we... Um, I already opened up all your goo packs. Can take a crew report here? Sure, why not? Keep that. Uh, let's EVA while we're here. Might as well. Uh, might as well. Yeah, why not? We'll just EVA from the ladder. Perfect. This isn't that high up after all. <laughs> EVA report while flying over Kerbin Shores. Jebby, you're literally... Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, well, I guess being... What is that? One, two, three meters off the ground, they figure you're uh, EVA or flying. That's fine. Keep that data. That's hilarious. Actually, you know what? Store store that experiment. There we go. Let's uh, let's actually come down and uh, get on the ground. There we go. Well, I still fell down. Well, don't break your legs, buddy. There we go. Uh, let's do an EVA report from here. Why not? From the ground. Okay, nothing. I'm glad I got the one while we were flying. Uh, can you take another soil sample? Sure you can. And that's worth 2.3 science if we bring it back. All right. Let's... uh. Climb back up on our ship. We'll use some rocket power here. See if this helps. I guess not. Oh, sorry, Jimmy. I have to recover you and your ship separately. Yep. All right. We're not going to play the game of leapfrog for too long because that's just going to drive me nuts. So we'll recover Jebediah. 
with his sample of rock from outside the space port. So we got, um, yeah, good. You brought back a space rock and recover a vessel that survived flight. Point eight. We got another three science. Puts us above the 15 we need. No new ribbons, Jebediah. I guess you got to do something famous to get ribbons. But I don't think that recovered our ship because we had goo on it. So where's my ship? Aha. Second rocket. There we go. Recover or fly? Well, he ain't never going to fly again, so let's just recover it. Ah, here we go. Um, report, yes. Nice. Science, science. Very good. Oh, 35, 35 points. And there was no crew on board because we abandoned it when Jebediah got out and walked off. Perfect. Let's go into the science center. And with 35 points to spend, we got 15, 18, 20. What do we got? So we got general rocketry gives us a bigger engine, which we probably really don't need bigger booster. Oh, yeah, we don't need that right now. We're in our trouble taking off as it is. Stability. Ah, uh, winglets. Uh, that I can use. And survivability. Extra parachutes, batteries. Oh, poodle engine. Or the small version of it. What do they call it? The LV-909. So we can go up into orbit. All right. We can, so buy this. And unlock that. We got some more new stuff here. Science tech. Ooh. Ah, there's where we get the science stuff. Okay, that's easy enough. Okay, well, I think this has gone on long enough. I'm going to cut it here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I guess we'll build us a new rocket with some of the new survivability and definitely some winglets on it so we can fly it inside the atmosphere until we get into space. So for now, I'll see you guys later.